called a recruit the other day and had one of the best conversations I've ever experienced as a coach. This young man was prepared. He asked all the tough questions, all the right questions. But it was his last question that reminded me of the challenges that lie ahead. He said, Coach Carrington, Tuscum sounds like an amazing place, but I'm used to winning. I've won all my life. You started a D2 program from scratch before, and you know how difficult that was. So do you honestly believe that your team can compete for a conference title next year? I wish you could have seen the smile sweep across my face when he hit me with that question. He didn't ask me about the girl to guy ratio. He didn't ask me about the closest ski resort. He didn't even care about our equipment sponsorship. You don't get stronger flirting with every girl in your dorm. And I've never seen a Maverick stick show up in a box score. All this young man wanted to know was if Tusculum is a place where he can be successful. So I told him, I know we'll compete for a conference championship next year. We're recruiting talented student athletes from all over North America. We've already received commitments from as far north as Canada and as far south as Florida. That being said, our town alone isn't going to be enough to win us this conference. When you're a first year program, when you're a pioneer, you can throw talent out of the window. Pioneers need something more, something extra inside of them that always comes through when talent falters. That extra something isn't God given. It's cultivated by putting in the work when your instinct tells you to relax. It's refined by doing the things that others think to be too hard. And it's nurtured by an unquenchable thirst for success. So many teams get to rely on their tradition to fuel their success. Their path has already been carved out and paved. Pioneers don't have a path to take. They make their own way. Making your path isn't easy. It means you have to be brave. You have to have faith in yourself and the people around you. Pioneers don't have time to look over their shoulder. Pioneers have to trust their brothers to pull their own weight. No bond is stronger than people coming together to create something new. Something that will stand the test of time. Pioneers don't believe in lip service. They lead by their actions and they refuse to fail. Because if pioneers don't make a way, who will? And if all that wasn't enough, pioneers have to deal with adversaries too. Not everybody wants to see pioneers succeed. Especially those already on top. Pioneers bring uncertainty. Pioneers bring change. People will try to attack pioneers before they can mature. They salivate over the chance to take out easy prey. But they should never mistake youth as weakness because pioneers relish a challenge. Pioneers don't want anything given to them. They want to earn all the respect, earn all their accolades. I know we can win the conference next year, and not because of our talent. We'll win because we're forged by adversity and driven by the desire to prove so many wrong. We'll win because we're pioneers. So knowing all that, my question for you is, do you have what it takes to be a pioneer?